Now to concerns over one of America's secret drones, so-called black operations, that crashed in Iran and whether it is giving the Iranians highly sensitive information about top-secret intelligence missions. The U.S. denies Iranian claims they shot down the drone, but that's just the start. NBC's Jim Miklashevsky on duty tonight for us at the Pentagon with more exclusive details tonight. Jim, good evening. Good evening, Brian. NBC News has learned that when that unarmed, unmanned American drone crashed in Iran last Thursday, it was on a mission for the CIA. But the exact nature of the mission is still cloaked in secrecy, and it's still unclear whether the drone was operating in Iran or Afghanistan. U.S. officials tell NBC News that CIA operators on the ground were flying the drone when it suddenly veered out of control and headed deep into Iran. Now, according to U.S. officials, the drone eventually ran out of fuel and crashed in Iran's remote mountains. But this is not just any drone. American officials confirm this is a super-secret stealth drone called an RQ-170, uh, which looks more like a flying wing than any airplane. And it's the same kind of drone that circled over that compound in Pakistan when Navy SEALs took out Osama bin Laden. Now, according to U.S. officials, the Iranians have recovered that wreckage. And the concern here is that they'll use those high-tech cameras and sensors to try to develop that technology for their own. And sources are telling us that American military forces were actually considering a mission into Iran to try to retrieve those secrets, but the Iranians got there first. And tonight, Brian, the CIA has no comment. All right, Jim McLeshevsky at the Pentagon tonight. Jim, thanks.